Top United Nations official says the global body has not been officially informed of the arrest of two suspects involved in last Friday's bomb attack on the UN building in Abuja. The resident coordinator of the United Nations in Nigeria, Mr. Dauda Toure, gave the clarification while reacting to media reports that the state security service had arrested two suspects, Babagana Ismail Kwajima and Babagana Mali. Well, the state security service said the suspects were arrested on August 21st, five days prior to the attack on the UN building. And the UN has demanded the prosecution of the perpetrators of the dastardly act. One week after the bomb attack on the United Nations building in Abuja, the organization is keeping journalists abreast of latest developments on the attack. This time, the UN is demanding that the perpetrators of the attack should be brought to justice. We do look forward to being informed. If arrests there are, indeed we demand that there is no impunity that the lives of those innocent people is not left to just die. This is something that we demand. It is international justice. Prior to the attack, the UN had not deemed its facility in Nigeria to be a high security threat. But the UN resident coordinator said the organization would reassess its security at its facilities in Nigeria. He also said 14 of the injured victims have already been evacuated to South Africa for treatment. We do have those kind of measures that we take for, be it for residents or for our offices, uh, on terms of uh, minimum operating arrangements for the offices and for residences as it applies. Meanwhile, the FCT minister has directed officials of the Abuja Metropolitan Management Council to conduct an integrity test on the damaged UN building to ascertain the state of the entire building. We will also make sure that this building is either reconstructed or rehabilitated in such a manner that it will not be unsafe for occupation. In the meantime, the FCT minister, Senator Bala Muhammad, has promised to provide temporary office accommodation to all United Nations agencies displaced as a result of the bomb attack. Linda Kiwi, Channels Television News.